Hey guys, so I wanted to give you an update on the auto car project. I'm making some decent progress now, the weather's getting better. As you can see, I got new inner and outer frame rails welded on. And I'm working on drilling the holes right now. I added 8 inches to the back here, because originally it was chopped off pretty short I guess for uh, towing a little boy meant for a single axle truck so it has a short neck on it so I kept the stock wheelbase but I wanted a little bit extra in the back because I'm going to switch these chambers out for 3030s and uh, they would have been sticking out past the end of the frame rail plus I'm going to add a hitch plate to the rear of this So I've been working on drilling all the frame holes. Uh, I took the old outer rail, I cut the flanges off of them, and then up here where the overlap is, see the inner rail I spliced there, and then the outer rail is another 30 inches back farther under the cab. So that left me with uh, a bolt pattern there to go off of pretty much and what I did was I drilled from the inside to the outside through the outer rail and I was able to bolt the the old uh, the old outer rail on without the flanges so I just cut the flanges off I was able to bolt that on and then uh, between some measurements from Hendrickson's website on the spring hanger dimensions and rolling the axles back under it and setting the frame down on it I just compared those two and I got it pretty much spot on so all the holes should be perfect on this as far as everything bolting up I ordered I just ordered them today. New, this is an extended leaf Hendrickson, so it sticks out past here. There's another uh, spring mount that this this leaf will sit on when you're empty. So then you want three eighths of a gap from this spring hanger to the leaf, and that gives you a decent, well, I shouldn't say decent, a better ride than. Uh, you know what it what it would normally ride like so and then when you're loaded up it'll come down on on these ones so I ordered two of them because the other ones were like cobbled together and the axle stops were homemade well I ordered new ones with inner axle stops and I'm still working on the front axle stops I didn't drill those holes so I'm waiting. Uh, I got a, a part number for off an international uh, for some stops that are factory made. They look good. I just gotta I gotta get some prices on. They they're probably not too much. Uh, they gotta be cheaper than what those those uh, extended leaf uh, spring hangers are. They were only eighty bucks a piece. So I'm sure these are cheaper yet and then there's a few holes where I'm not going to drill like the fifth wheel plate I'm waiting on them that's the line across the top because this frame rail is a little bit bigger than the old one so I actually want to sit the fifth wheel plate on top and then mark the holes and drill them and uh, there's the there's like an exhaust Hanger mount, where's that? There, there's for the exhaust, those three there. And then back here's the hydraulic pump and the air dryer. So I'll, uh, I gotta do them yet. I broke my 9 sixteenths a uh, bit. I'm going to 16th over on all the sides, on all the holes. So there's a 
a little bit of play, and that's the way that if I, I would have ordered, ordered them from PG Adams or uh, what's the other name of the company? It starts with a V, uh, Ficon, or something like that. They would have been a sixteenth over. So they're all half inch and five five eighths bolts. I gotta make a new uh, tank strap. Uh, I found a company to get the rubber from for them. It's an inch and three quarters wide, not the standard two inch. And uh, so I gotta work on getting that. Maybe this week I'll give them a call. This is the cross member that was under the cab. That's all the crap that was in it. Uh, I'm going to put this one back further in the frame, and then the one that was back further, the drive shaft had hit it uh, because of the front axle stops were either gone or not the right height. So I'm going to take that one, I patched that up. That's the one that you saw when I showed you the outer frame rail over there, painted black. I'm going to stick that one under the cab and it's uh, kind of where I'm at. Uh, this mag drill is really saving my life. Uh, it's making this job pretty easy and uh, pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, see the taper on the frame and then I left the inner rail back a little bit so when I do the hitch plate, I'm going to stick the hitch plate, I'm going to cut out the C shape from the frame in the hitch plate, and then I'm going to stick the hitch plate into the frame a little bit. Probably going to go with a three quarter inch plate. Um, for right now though, I'm just going to get some lights on the back of this and make sure everything's going to work here. I'm going to replace all the airlines and the brakes and that stuff on it. See the rust on the back of the cab? I was pecking away at that a little bit to see how bad it actually was. So I'll probably have to come up to somewhere like in here. garage. I got the tanks. So I started sanding them. It's a lot of work to get all the pitting out. And then, let's see, a little bit of dirt on it. But there's the polish. I just did a small test piece to make sure I was doing it right. But to get all the pitting out of this, it's a lot of work. You can, I don't know if you can pick it up. But gotta get it looking halfway decent like this. This is down to 600. And then, uh, then you can get a decent polish on it. But I got this one, and then I got this is the hydraulic tank, and then I got the fuel tank. I know this looks like uh, something from Pakistani truck, like a truck wrecking, uh, or a third world uh, truck repair. I got all these metal tumbleweeds blowing over in the wind, blowing around in the wind today. Uh, I did look up, I think one of these tags here, is it this one? Yeah, it looks like. I think that 411 gears in it. So, with no overdrive on the trans and 22 and a half inch rubber, uh, probably going to be doing like 65 at 2300 RPM. Yeah. 
gonna be a loud ride unless I re-gear or swap in overdrive trans. That might be something in the future, just put an overdrive trans in it. This uh deep reduction fifteen speed. Probably ain't gonna cut it. But I'll say it's just a hobby truck. I'd like to be able to get 70, 75 out of it. But so I'll show you guys uh, drilling some of the holes over here. No, I didn't show you. I, when I had that frame laying up here, I just went through and I center punched everything with a set of transfer punches. Made it go real quick. I've been uh, knocking holes out here pretty good. I got a new junction box for the lights in the back. And uh, I didn't order lights or mud flaps or any of that stuff yet. And. I did pull the interior out of it. I might have shown that in the last video. A little bit out of time. I'm hoping to get this thing roadworthy maybe by June. You'll see how that goes. Still quite a bit of work. So I'm get my gloves and so I can set you guys up over here. And I'll drill a couple holes. soluble cutting fluid.
I'm saving my life. Finish drilling up all these 11 16 holes, and then uh, not sure what my next plan is going to be. Maybe work on the sticking the cross member under the cab. Uh, well, maybe I'll polish the tanks. I don't know. I do want to change out this battery box. like to maybe go with something off like a Freightliner 122 SD or 114 SD, you know, uh, stainless top, they're narrow, fit three batteries in them, but that one might go on for now until I find one. So, thanks for, uh, Stopping by to check out the video and the update on the auto car. Um, the weather getting better. Hopefully, I'll have some stuff on the Lima. And I got the engine back for the skid steer. I got to put that together yet. And then uh, we'll do some stuff with the Inslee here. I got to put the clutches back in it. So, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all later. Hey, just wanted to show you guys where I ended up today. I got probably 80% of the holes drilled. Threw a couple bolts in, make sure everything's going to work. There was little spacers in here both sides and then there's plates and stuff that go on the inside of this I didn't drill any of these holes in the back yet just because uh, those extended leaf uh, spring hangers I want to make sure they have the same bolt pattern and then the front axle stops, I did not get them yet. So, but I got it cleaned up a little bit, I got everything off the ground, just so it looks a little more human. Uh, it was pretty bad there for a little bit. And uh, probably hang these air tanks again soon. I got the cab back down on the mount, but I'll probably have to take that back out. I gotta get a cross member in there. I just wanted to get the support I had underneath the cab out. stuff back together here and then I'm going to 
see what size bolts I actually need. And I'm going to get some new frame bolts. And then there's a couple holes up here I didn't drill yet. So I wasn't 100% sure I needed them yet. So I kind of just left it alone. Plan is to get this all put back together the way it was before. Make sure everything works all right. Then I'm going to go after the airlines, the brakes, all that stuff, and then I'll jump up into the cab, work on the cab, and do a little tinkering with the engine. Then I got to get new rubber. Stay tuned for the next update. Hit that bell so you get uh, notifications when I post the next video. Alright, see you at the next one.